And so it turns out, and I think many of you have seen what I did in the Lisp Plateau before, but uh, 30 plus years ago, I went out to the Lisp Plateau and it looked like this. So this was called the most eroded place on earth. And it was fundamentally ecologically destroyed. But it was also the cradle of Chinese civilization. And it was also very important during the Chinese revolution. So many historical events had taken place in there. And there was a lot of connection to this area in Chinese history. But at the time when I first went out there 30 plus years ago, it was a ruin. So <clears throat> interestingly, that was the same time that China was getting rich. And what ch the Chinese were, say were seeing is what we see all over the world. Wherever you destroy the vegetation, wherever you destroy and expose the soils to direct solar radiation, wherever you, you just extract you have always less. So it's exactly the reverse of evolutionary succession, which was always more biomass, always more necromass, and always more biodiversity. But through our extraction thinking, it was always less. And when you get to the end game, it's really destroyed. And when it's destroyed, you get drought, you get flooding, you get famine, you get wildfires, you get mudslides, you get all these accumulated impacts. So we basically, the Chinese really sort of realized they were a poster child of degraded landscapes.